welcome to my channel this is amber's world and i am so glad that you found this channel if you are new here i'm so glad that the fates have allowed us to meet each other for the very first time and if this is not your first time and you're a subscriber and you're already part of my family thank you and welcome back please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like this video if you like what you see today you guys it is the beginning of another five-day trip for me and even though it's a five-day trip it is definitely a lot more toned down trip compared to the six-day adventure that I just had and the five-day mayhem that I had before then three legs today but they're not even full service flights so really quick back to backs well not back to backs there's definitely a three hour layover that we have here in base which i'm really excited for because that means i can go to the crew room and take a nice nap and then we lay over in kalamazoo tonight then we lay over in montreal twice in a row then we lay over in Kalamazoo again, and then on the last day, of course, we end here pretty early in base, which I'm really excited about. These past trips, it's been like four legs in one day over a span of like 14 hours and just barely making minimum rest, and that was pretty tough on the body, and I was super, super fatigued throughout the entire time. But it's nice to know that things are a little bit different this time around, so I'm waiting on my ride so I can get to the airport, y'all. Let's get to work. Hello, y'all. So I just finished day two of my trip. I've been doing a terrible job already at keeping y'all updated. Basically, yesterday was easy peasy, three legs. It was super short. I went from base to Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo back to base, base back to Kalamazoo. I just decided, you know what? I'ma just skip out on the update and go straight to bed. I had to listen to my body, you guys. I'm sure you understand. But right now I am in Montreal. Finally done with my day. It's about to be like 5.30 now with a 6 a.m. report time tomorrow. But I'll be done tomorrow by like 11 or so. Of course, I am loving my hotel room. Montreal never disappoints at all. By the way, I do not have a flying partner. I'm on CRJ 200 all this trip. Thank you, God. This is the same hotel that we always go to in Montreal, but I'll give you guys a tour for those of you who are watching this video for the very first time. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we have a wonderful espresso station here. Huge closet. Where are like all the, there we go. Fancy, fancy bathroom. Love it, love it very, very much. Like I said, it's Montreal. Montreal never disappoints. It was hell getting to the hotel, but Montreal still doesn't disappoint. And this is actually a better view from the hotel that I had last time. If you look, oop, if you look, there's, you see the little Montreal sign on the airport. All right, y'all, so I am in Montreal waiting to board. There's only like 13 people on this flight, so. We're just waiting a little extra longer because we don't need that much time to board. Hopefully y'all can hear me. And then we're gonna be laying over in the base for like over three hours because our deadhead back to Montreal got delayed by like two hours. But after that we're done and I'm excited to go back to sleep in the sleep room. <laughs> so that's the plan. Montreal. Hey, I'm back in Montreal. Hey, I'm back in Montreal. And same view, closer view, actually. And it's so pretty out. My captain and FO are going to explore. Good for them, but I will not be exploring. 
I will be staying here in my abode because I just do not feel like going out and exploring um, Montreal right now. I know you guys are like, what? But I just can't do it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's in French, you guys. <laughs> so I'm on my way downstairs now so I can get something to eat. The restaurant opens in a few minutes. And y'all, I am like starving. I'm like rushing to get something on so I can go downstairs and eat. I'm trying to see if what I'm wearing is what I wanna wear. I don't really have anything too formal, but it's just me and who cares anyway, right? So let me just kind of tuck in my shirt a little bit. I look kind of bummy, but I don't really care. Oh my God, y'all. The food was so good. Like I'm shook by how good that food was. I get to the restaurant super cute you know a vibe i look at the menu and here's the thing i don't usually order the burgers and fries when i go to a restaurant especially a new restaurant you know me being the bougie person that i am i usually get the seafood dish but everything on the menu was just making me squint my eyes and kind of give like a side eye you know at that point i was way too hungry to order something that was like nasty because now i would be pissed you know and i'll have to send it back and it's just I didn't want to go through that. So I was just like, you know what, Amber? Let's just stick to the rivers and the lakes that we're used to and just get the burgers and fries. Like how can they mess up a burger and some fries? So sure enough, I ordered the burgers and fries. It got there. Y'all saw the video, right? The, it, like the presentation was nice. And then I took a bite into the burger. I was like, oh, this is giving me everything that I needed. And I'm not even a dessert girl, but y'all, I went ahead and ordered dessert and look how cute this is, watch. These are beignets. And of course I had to get the beignets because you know, we're in Montreal, super French and whatnot. And so like they gave me like the dollops of chocolate with the fruit and I think that's a pepper. And so what I'm gonna do is when my food digests, I'm gonna have these with my espresso y'all aren't the cutest like it's such a vibe i cannot wait to have my little beignets with some espresso later on tonight oh my god you guys this right here i just had to come back and say yes ma'am so good we got my espresso here. This is decaf, by the way. I'm definitely not drinking no caffeinated espresso at 5.30 in the evening. I'll be up all night. Our day is done for day four. Watching The Office. Got myself some cup of noodles that I made from this coffee maker here. Ghetto cuisine. Um, also, we're going out later around 2 for some late lunch i guess so this should tie me over until then but i'm going to relax guys I had such a good time with my crew um well my captain and first officer we had a really good time I never go out with my crew this was actually the first time I actually went somewhere with other crew members and it did not disappoint we had such a good time and it was like fate because right when we decided to leave is when it kind of like started to rain so I got back into my hotel room at a perfect time sorry if it's loud i'm watching a movie in the background but yeah just wanted to follow up with you guys i'm back i'm safe i'm good and tomorrow is day five just like that i'm not gonna say it felt more like a vacation this time around but i don't know like it was it was a lot more chill than the last few trips that i've had which is nice i'm excited to get home early i should be done again by like we get done so early tomorrow i'm so happy like I hate that I have to be up so early in the morning. Our call time is like 4.20, but 
I'm excited to just be done earlier in the day. And like I said, I have the rest of tomorrow off and then the next three days off after that. So I'm gonna start winding down and getting ready to go to bed and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. All right, y'all, as you can see, I have made it back home after a very interesting five day trip to say the least. Like it was good, but I don't know. I can't really put my finger on it, on what type of trip this was. It Part of it felt like a vacation, but part of it didn't. And I just feel like I just slept a lot and I'm just glad to be home and to be off for the rest of the day in the next three days. I feel like I said that about five times, but y'all like this month has been a very busy month. This month and April have just been nonstop uh, traveling. I have not, I have been used every single day that I have been scheduled, which is great, but oh, I'm just, whew, it'd be nice to just get a little breather. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. Thank you all so much again for watching this video. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, look at me. All right, cute. You might as well subscribe. I'm like adorable, right? And like this video because it was the bomb, if I do say so myself. And make sure you turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload more videos on this channel. I am going to eat and probably just sit on this porch and just take in all this wonderful sun that I have been waiting so patiently for. And until next time, bye.